There's a woman by the name of Kimberly Page Barnett. She's running for mayor out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, she put on her Facebook post that she was a Republican, that she was smart, that she was white, and a traditionalist. Now, she's going to run on that. Haven't presented anything more than that, but she feel that white is going to get her through the door. She wants to be your mayor and thinks you should vote for her because she's white. Yes, Kimberly Barnett posted on her public Facebook page, vote for me, Republican and smart, white, traditional. This long shot candidate running in the Republican primary has a history of saying controversial things. We don't want to encourage the lower income people. We want to encourage the higher income people here in Charlotte. This was at a PBS debate in August, but back to the vote for me because I'm white thing. Fox 46 Charlotte was curious what she meant, so we reached out on social media. We called her. We even went to her apartment and left a business card. Still, no response. So we reached out to her opponents. We're here talking about a candidate that will likely garner less than 1% of the vote, if that. Current city council member Kenny Smith says who cares about race? There's work to be done. Homicides are on the rise. Infrastructure is failing, and we're 50th out of 50 cities in economic mobility. She's using the race card. Candidate Gary Dunn says that's no way to win votes. There'll always be a black and white divide. Uh, that's how people figure who otherness is. It's profiling in the short way. But you have to think past that. Just weeks after racial riots in Charlottesville, Fox 46 wants to know what voters think of a fringe candidate suggesting she's qualified because she's white. I've never voted for a candidate for the color. Uh, it doesn't matter what color you are, what race, because God created all of us. Before we get started with the commentary, we want to reach out to our supporters and viewers to support the Houston Flood Relief Fund. We have about 33,000 people on average that is displaced, homeless, and going to need our help for a while. I want to thank everyone that's donating to the fund because we, as a group of people here on the Advise Media Network family, we're coming through to help out people that's in need with this fund. So I want to thank everyone for helping us to make that happen. Now, I'm not upset by this at all. I'm really not. I think it's funny. And the thing about her, and yes, I'm about to say this and be real petty. When did they start letting meth heads run for mayor? Did you see her face? She looked like she just come from the faces of meth. You see those, those websites? That woman looked bad. What's wrong with her? The last thing she need to worry about is running for public office. She needed, you know what? <laughs> I can look at that woman every day. I'm just saying, but being so-called white is not going to get it because when you deal with crime, when you deal with the budget of the city, when you deal with infrastructure, when you deal with, um, education, uh, the police department, a whole lot of things you got to deal with the city workers being white is not going to fix any of that. And if just being white is something that you need to be just to get a job or your qualification and lets me know that you've been getting by a long time on your white privilege. So all you have to say, Hey, I'm white. So that should get me in the door. And we know in this country every day that privilege is shrinking slowly. And that's why you are starting to see more and more of that. That's why you're seeing more open racism now. But one thing, one of the candidates said in this news piece that was quite interesting. I don't know if you caught that. He said there will always be a divide with black and white. And when I heard they're like, whoa, but if you take a history lesson and look at all the incidents and it's always an issue and a problem, not because black people's creating a problem. We want to get along with everybody. That's actually been our worst thing that we have ever done. We wanted to be everybody's friend. We wanted to come to everybody's rescue and they've kicked us, slapped us, punched us in the face and the eye at the same time. And now you have a generation of black people say to hell with that. I ain't doing it no more. So we want to be everybody's friend, but everybody didn't want to be our friend. And especially a lot of people that's in Kimberly's group. Now, not all of them. No, I'm not saying that, but we have over 400 years of documented history of a whole lot of things that's not friendly happening to black people. But this woman 
is an idiot. They state that she's not going to win anything. And I don't think she should. As I stated before, I think she needs intervention because she looks like she's on meth or something because she just do not even look right. And I've done plenty of these meth videos and I know some meth heads when I see them and she obviously either using meth or just got off of meth. I don't know. She needs to get help one way or another. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Share the video, like the commentary and subscribe for my news stories.